Hey, what do we have here? What's up guys? I am on my way to work in the bus because my car engine decided to seize up. So I guess my bus is my main mode of transportation now, whether I like it or not. It's Friday morning, I'm on my way into work, so I'll work all day today, and then I will just spend the whole weekend down near where I work. I've got a few things to do. First, I'm gonna go over to my friend Ethan's house. He's gonna help me cut all the pieces for the drawer faces and the cabinet doors in the kitchen. My first stop after work, though, is to get some supplies. I have some cool cabinets from Ikea that I really love, and I'm gonna try and match the paint color. <laughs> So this is one of the existing cabinets I have. Okay. And I'm trying to match that paint color. I wasn't able to find the exact paint code or anything. I can actually just color match this in my system. Sweet, right. awesome. Cool, I'll help you with that right here in the front. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. How much are you thinking you would need? Probably a gallon. Perfect, yeah. thanks so much. Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks great. Sweet, thank you so much. Yeah. Good job for you. Now it's time for a good night's sleep. And then in the morning, I'm gonna get to work on these kitchen drawers and door faces. Now everybody, this is Ethan. He makes some awesome stuff and he's offered to help me out in his workshop today. For the kitchen doors and the drawer faces, I'm cutting out these pieces to be a frame. I'm gonna cut a 1 8 inch wide and 1 quarter inch deep groove into each of them. These are the panels that I'm gonna slide into them. While I've got tons of my own power tools, having a full workshop at my disposal really helps. Now that those are all cut out, I'm gonna head back to the same place I found yesterday because I just can't get enough of this view. I took some time to go ahead and clean up the bus. I'm getting some of the scrap wood and things like that organized. And of course, I gotta jump up on the roof and catch this beautiful sunset. I found in Utah, if you just type trailhead on Google Maps, you can usually find some really cool places to stay with some really pretty views. I definitely have a work hard, play hard mentality, and I'm pretty impressed with the amount of work that I've gotten done today, so I think it's time to go have some fun. Care to join me? Good morning! Dancing was a blast, and I ended up finding a super pretty place to stay over by the lake. It's pretty freaking cold, though. Turn this off until it warms up. <sighs> this has already been such a fun weekend. And it's really nice just having the bus and not having to drive home every single night. It's been so much fun. And I'm definitely getting a lot more comfortable driving this monstrosity around. 
Hey, I just spent the last day of the weekend, Sunday night, in the bus. So I've been here since Friday morning when I left for work. And the view is pretty good. No complaints here. And I was able to sleep much warmer tonight because I actually finished getting the power system set back up. My hand is really cold, so I'm gonna stop recording. It's 25 degrees out. I'm gonna get toasty for a bit while it warms up a little bit more, hopefully. And then I will turn the bus on and drive the three minutes to my work. <laughs> this is probably the shortest commute I've ever had in my life, and it's such a pretty view, so I'm excited. Okay, so I'm spending another night in the bus just because it's a long drive back home and I work down here anyway, so I don't mind just kind of hanging out this way and getting stuff done on the bus after I finish work. It's definitely easier to encourage myself to work on the bus when I'm already in it anyway. And life is good. Good morning in the bus. This one, the view isn't as fancy. I did have power last night. Got a heater hooked up, though the circuit tripped at one point during the night, which means that it got a bit chilly, but life's good. I need to get up and go to work. <sighs> Let's do this. Oh, got to get some laundry done. The laundromat only takes coins. But luckily there's a bunch of quarters and stuff stuck here. Well, it's been fun. I need to get back to work. Thank you guys for joining on this journey. Make sure you're subscribed because next week I'll show you some of the updates on how some of this turned out. Don't forget to hit that like button.